Good morning, everyone. Today, I would like to share another Buddha story, the Turtle King and the Businessman. There's one night near the ocean. Under this deep ocean, there are many turtles. There's one noble king turtle who govern all this entire ocean. This turtle king usually swim alone to oversee and safeguard entire ocean near the coast. And one night, that is a very humid, hot summer night, a turtle king decide to swim and get on the coast and try to relax on the beach and enjoy the full moon night alone in the coast. The wind blow from the ocean is very comfortable. So the turtle king slowly fall asleep for a while because the turtle king's body is not like a regular turtle. His body is huge. If you see from afar, it looked like a rock, a huge rock rests along the coast. So the turtle king falls asleep. In the midnight, there's one merchandise ship slowly approach to the coast. And there are many businessmen landing on this rock and all the workers unload their goods and their merchandise. So this group of businessmen, they feel very hungry. So they decide to set up the fire and prepare their dinner. Just about this setting up the fire, cooking, making a lot of movement, the Turtle King wake up and suddenly realize there's a bunch of businessmen and their goods. They are cooking their dinner on his body. So the fire actually irritated the Turtle King, make the Turtle King very uncomfortable. The fire burning his shell. So the Turtle King decide to slowly move his body close to the ocean and put his feet into the ocean wave so that will help the turtle king reduce the temperature. So once the turtle king began moving his body, all the businessmen was shocked and screaming and say, is this earthquake? Why this rock is moving? Are we going to die? We already traveled for months. We finally landed and we are about to go home. We don't want to die. So this group of businessmen and the workers keep crying and the palm together their hand and the calling Namo Buddhaya. Namo Buddhaya. Please rescue me. We don't want to die. So this group of businessmen keep crying and yelling and calling Buddha to help them, to rescue them from this danger. And then this turtle king smile, uh, turning his head to look at those businessmen and give them a big smile and say, don't worry, I'm not going to destroy you and your goods. It's because you set up the fire on my body. I feel extremely hot and very uncomfortable. What I need to do is move my body close to the ocean so the water can cool down my body temperature so you still can finish your meal, safely go home. I'm not going to harm you. Don't worry. Once the Turtle King smiled told those uh, businessmen and workers, they all smile and uh, showing appreciation to the Turtle King and say, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for not hurting us. Once they finished their delicious dinner, 
the workers and the businessmen slowly moving their goods out of this turtle king's body. When they finish all these unloading actions, the businessmen and the workers wave their hand to the turtle king and say, thank you for your compassionate attitude. You save us. And they saying goodbye for each other peacefully with a big smile. And all the businessmen and workers slowly walk away from the coast and they disappear from this very dark night. And the turtle king swim back to deep ocean. According to this Buddha story, the turtle king was the previous life of Buddha Sakyamuni. And the, those businessmen and the workers were the past lives of the disciples. And in the future turn of life, they will meet again. They will also support each other not harming each other. So this is the story of the Buddha, the turtle king and the businessman. Also, remember, the people we met right now is from the connection we have from the past. Whether it's a good connection or a bad connection, it's all from the past. So that's why we need to practice the compassionate attitude, like this story. So we need to cherish every person, every moment we encounter with. That will also bring us a good connection in the future. Be positive, be compassionate, be respectful. And I hope you enjoy my sharing today of the Buddha story. I hope next time you will join me again. Thank you.